Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate ladder diagram of OR gate in IndraWorks PLC programming. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it so that you'll be getting the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. At the first place, let us look at the symbol of OR gate. The name itself gives you a clear indication. OR stands for if any one of the inputs is in a high state, consequently the output will be high. So that is what it is trying to infer from the logic diagram. So how does the hardware circuit look like? It looks something like this. If you're considering a light load, then you'll be having two switches, which is basically uh, inputs A and B. If any one of the inputs is in high state, so when it is in high state, it will be short circuited and consequently current will flow through that path and light will flow. And if both the inputs are high consequently current will still be flowing through the load so this is the truth table as a whole when both the inputs are zero that is both the uh, switches a and b are open circuited no current will be flowing through and consequently the light will not flow and the output will be zero in all the other cases it will be equal to one now how do we uh, draw the ladder, ladder diagram for this type of uh, conditions so the ladder logic program looks like this so you have two inputs a and b why is the coil that is that? so if a or B is on, consequently the coil will be energized. If both are high, consequently output will be high. If both are zero, then the output will be zero. So this is the diagram that we are supposed to implement. And how do we do that? So let's go to uh, IndraWorks and start our uh, ladder logic. All right, here we are in Indra logic window. So in order to arrive at this uh, ladder diagram uh, programming window, you have to create a project and uh, already demonstrated in one of my previous videos. So please do watch it, it will give you a clear picture. So now, uh, how do we implement OR gate ladder, ladder diagram? So at the first place, click on this position and uh, we'll be uh, adding this particular contact and I'll be labeling this as input one. And uh, once that is done, you can uh, click on OK and uh, right click over here and uh, select parallel contact and this can be labeled as input 2 in this particular fashion. So click on enter again and uh, this is basically a window that is used to declare the variable. So if you carefully observe, if I once I click OK and uh, the program over here, it will be creating the variables uh, by automatically typing in the commands uh, for the input variables that we have defined. So we have input 2 which is again a boolean type of variable. Consequently, we will be requiring a coil as well. So I'm going to use a normal coil over here and um, I'll be labeling this as output so out and click on enter again and that variable will be initialized over here again so once this is done now we can um, uh, we have to be very careful that uh, simulation mode is enabled and now we can click on login so what happens is that uh, we are logging into the programming window and consequently here we can um, energize the inputs and for different input condition what will be the output we can actually force the values and see so let us double click on input 1 so when it is true and when input 2 is also true uh, what happens to the output so if you observe input 1 is true input 2 is true so what is the output so in order to check the output we can click on run at the first place and then we will be clicking on force values so when you force the values you can see that the output is true in case you don't click on run and uh, you click on force values it will not be reflecting you the actual uh, value that you want to get so be very careful with that again now I'll be releasing this uh, and I'll be setting this to false and let input 2 still be true. Now if any one of the input is true, the output should re still remain true and let us check that as well. I'll be checking that by forcing the values and again you see the output is still true over here. Again let us try it for a different input like when both the uh, inputs are false. So what happens to the output? So it should be giving you false isn't it? So let us clarify this. And if you're getting this, then our logic is correct according to the OR gate working of the truth table. So now let us go to force values again. And if you see for uh, input 1 and 2 being false, the output is still false. So, so this concludes that uh, we are able to implement OR gate um, using the ladder diagram in IndraWorks. So in case you have any questions with respect to this video, please feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do like it, share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Meet you guys in another video. Thank you.